So look, bro. Happy Yon Day. Um, if y'all know me, y'all know the Court Camp videos. It's the best videos on here. Hey, that's another thing I want to ask y'all real quick before I get into this. I promise you this intro finna be on in 40 seconds. Over in 40 seconds, right? I mean, don't be like, okay, girls, you got 35 seconds. No, I don't. Cut the 40 seconds start right. <laughs> no, I start writing it. <laughs> I can do what I want. I can do what I want on my channel, bro. All right. Yeah. Let's get y'all time. Oh, ghost drop the video. I got to go get my, my uh, yo, whatever you do to relax. Just don't get your girl because they don't, they don't be knowing how to. I be like, dang, she thick right there. Y'all be looking in the camera like, and our mind, in y'all mind, like, she so is. But your girl, bro. She... Put it like this, right now, for real. To all my ladies out there, y'all know I rock with y'all. Ghost gang gats, right? Y'all know I do. We we here, remember? Pound it, right? And I did not say that 40 seconds started, so I could talk as much as I want to. But y'all know we here, right? But um, for this video right here, bro, get out. Let me kill. Let me chick it. <laughs> like I was about to say, I'm trying to say, let me kick it and let me chill. I said, I said, let me kill. Let me chick it. Hey, look, so let me chick it with the hump. Ooh, <laughs> chill and kick it. It is called chick it. Not chicken. It's the T at the end. Anyway, let me chick it with the homies and y'all. Get out and go get on your phone. You want to be weird. First, you want to be on the phone with your homegirl. Then y'all want to eat your food off, eat our food off our plate. Then y'all want to watch what we watch. You wasn't watching DJ. You wasn't with bro shooting in the gym. You probably just watching my videos this year. Y'all relationship probably just started. It's a fake ass relationship. <laughs> no, I just playing a little. Some of y'all watching this ain't going to be together by the end of the year, bro. <laughs> I'm being real. It's a lot of y'all watching this. How many views we gonna get? We average like what? Quarter, quarter mil, 200, 150. So about 15,000 of y'all. Y'all gonna be watching this with some, some other dude or some other female come cuddle season. I promise you. I promise you. And if she don't give hair, I don't even know why he's still with her to be 100. <laughs> I love her. Man, ain't that much love in the world, bro, to go ahead and... But anyway, here go the video right here. I forgot what I was about to say because I know how I get with this. And if your girl's still in the room watching the video, she run your life. You know why? Because she convinced you. Oh, so you really going to listen to him? That be that mind they be doing. She convinced you that you a buster by t let, telling her to get out because I'm trying to kick it with the homies. So she's still right there with you. You soft, bro. I don't care what you say. <laughs> yeah, right, go so I beat you. I don't care how much waste you live, how many guns you got, bro, how many fights you had. At this moment in life, you soft. <laughs> I'm not even lying, she's still there. And if you respect your dude and you don't want him to be soft, Get up and leave. Let's see what type of girl you got. If she get up and leave, you're not soft no more. I bet she don't even care. She's still sitting right there. You soft, bro. Leave her. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't there for the dare. Leave her. <laughs> Y'all think I be playing, bro. Leave her. Because, yeah. And she's still there, huh? I'm, you know, we head about. to Seattle, Washington, and the King County courtroom. Seattle. This is State of Washington versus Christopher Teal, cause number one. Seattle. What up to y'all over there? I heard that was one of the dopest. Uh, hold on, Seattle, the city. I heard that was one of the dopest cities in the U.S. Not online. Not somebody uh uh vlog or nothing. It's just like people I know personally that have been out there. It's a lot of L.A. things up in Seattle for some reason. <laughs> but it's got good weed because it's all. Well, well, why else would LA to go to Seattle? What? <laughs> right. One eight one zero zero eight three nine one Seattle designation. Christopher he Teal was accused of first degree rape and unlawful imprisonment. Bro, burn Teal him. Followed a woman into the bathroom of a car dealership, locked the door, and raped her. 
Wow. The attack was stopped only after company employees broke into the stall and wrestled Teal to the ground. And tell me again why he got a court date? That's what I'm saying. How we were saying the dudes is soft, the U.S. is soft too. They finna lock him up, give him three square meals a day. He gonna be able to make phone calls to his kids, go out. Basically, he's still able to breathe. Please make me president. This will be a new country, I promise y'all, because bro wouldn't even, he wouldn't even make it to jail. Oh, you did well right here? All right, for sure. Call the sergeant down to this situation, bro, and let's situate this, uh, this fire squad, you know what I'm saying? The defendant's in court for a competency hearing to determine whether he's fit to stand trial. Standing next now to him is Reed crazy, Brooklyn, man, man. his court-appointed attorney. Sick. The jail guard removes Teal's court appointed attorney. Just say public defender. And that's another thing. I don't know too much about the justice system at all. So do the public defenders got to take every case that's assigned to them? Because if I was one, I wouldn't be up there trying to defend no rapist, bro. That's out. You know what I'm saying? You have to. No, I don't. I'm going to be sick today and tomorrow and the next day. Till we get locked up. Oh my God, I'm good now. Yup. I ain't, I ain't finna, um, yeah, all right. It's cops. I'm Emily Peterson on behalf of the state. Mr. Teal's present. He's in custody. He's represented by counsel, Mr. Berkman. He raises his what arm was he toward reaching Berkman, for? but what was pointed attorney. For? The jail guard removes Teal's cuffs. I'm Emily Peterson on behalf of the state. Mr. Teal's present. He's in custody. He's represented by counsel, Mr. Berklin. Uh, Mr. He raises his arm toward Berklin. Okay, that right there, that was supposed to put him back in cuffs, bro. <coughs> he wasn't even on it. Like I said, <coughs> I know he finna do something. Because my guy sent me the video and it would have been on YouTube just because he messed with somebody ear. Hey, baby. Fick with somebody ear. Bro finna do something. And the reason why he able to do something, because they didn't put him back in cuffs like they were supposed to. Soon and they didn't. Soon as he show you not supposed to be. Let's see what this is, bro. He about to probably run. But extra security's at the ready. My understanding from his counsel, who I'll defer to in a moment. Without um, provocation. <laughs> Teal punches his own attorney. <laughs> bro slapped him. He had to taste. Like, he had to feel the texture first so he could see how hard to hit. A lot of y'all don't know, like, you could probably break your knuckles on somebody's face. So, what he did the first time, he was like, you know, it's just like, oh, like, it's a baby bottom. And then when they, he test, bop. They say he socked him, but it sounded like a little slap. You in there for one of the worst crimes you could be in jail for. Why not slap the public defender? I think he know like, we know public defenders do not care. You know what I'm saying? They don't. And he slapped them. The guards Should've immediately back in pounce cups. on the six foot three defendant and take him to the ground. Six foot three, 120 pounds. Teal's attorney looks to be unhurt. Well, you gotta slap. It takes four men to subdue Teal, and even then, he refuses to go quietly. Bring the chair. The chair. What y'all don't know is, over his head in the back, as officers they return him to beat jail. Him, bro. Watch. Berkland chooses not to press charges, but he does remove himself from the case. Hey, you shouldn't even win. Nearly two weeks later, Teal returns to the courtroom. New counsel has been appointed since the last hearing. This time, strap. They got the side of his face. Remember I told you that's gonna go back there and beat on bro. <laughs> that bro still ain't healed. You know what I'm saying? And it probably been every day since then. Keep it 100 with you. That's, this is two weeks later. To a rolling chair. New council needs to his change. biggest concern is how his hair looked in his mug shop. I got one question, one thing to say. Please, I'd like please. to know where the f they got that photo of me with my short hair. Because that was on Facebook and I don't have a Facebook. All right. So you're, you're in uh, jail for questions. Right? Yeah. So yeah, people like, are fine. Do they have time. access to Google? Yes, they do. The judge schedules another hearing in a week's time. And the trial has yet to begin. Was... 
were at the Story County Courthouse in Nevada, Iowa. It's the end of the day. It's a city called Nevada? I didn't know that, bro. A group of prosecutors are headed home for the night. But as the attorneys head down a hallway, someone is trailing them from behind. How they don't see that? Close to the exit, the man... That's what I'm saying, bro. Y'all know how when y'all sleep, y'all can still feel somebody by y'all? Y'all know how when y'all in the store, somebody could probably be like three hours over, you can still feel them staring at you? Is that just me? If it is, then I'm a god, because I don't see how nobody else can feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? I turn around, what's up, bro? Like, what you... Y'all trained to watch these fools. You trained. And now that I think about it, as a court clerk, probation officer, detective, lawyer, police officer, sergeant, however you want to rank them, the court building's got to be scary because anybody that walk in there, mind you, they do got metal detectors. But you don't know what they own once they get up in there, bro. You don't. And they bet not say he got a pistol because they supposed to have a metal detector. Calls out one of the prosecutors by name. The attorney answers. But it's a quick conversation. Oh, yeah. His homies helped. His well, homies helped. The leader of the attorney group is. Bro, he looked like he'd give you life with no remorse. I'm not even lying. He looked like he'd get you life for real. County prosecutor Tim Mills. He called Tim Mills and then his unknown to him. Suck, bro. A former defendant he prosecuted. 31 year old Major Robinson has been lying in wait with an apparent score to settle. After addressing Mills by name, Robinson cocks back and punches the unsuspecting attorney in the face. As the confrontation spills across the hallway, Another county prosecutor, Tyler Eason, jumps in to help his colleague. Gotta help the homie. Amid the struggle, Robinson also together. strikes Eason in the face, smashing his glasses. Oh, man. Eventually, glad, court security arrives and Robinson's arrested. So, bro did all that to a lawyer to get how much time? And you know you at the court building. You know you're on camera. You're 31 years old. Look like you used to like eat hot fries on vacation. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> no, but look, bro, you up in the court building, you know it's cameras, and you did all that to get you three to five years. Then they gonna get you the the, the coldest part was gonna get them the most time, not the assault, not the fight inside the court building. It's the premeditated. He called him by name. He waited on him. He went up there knowing that he was going to be up there. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to get him that time. Stupid. And Both prosecutors jumped. walk away with minor... Imagine getting jumped by some white boys. <laughs> That's... Hey, another thing, bro. Understand this. Understand this. On this channel, bro, we get on black people and they chicken, white people and they unseasoned ass meat, Fucking Asians in the rice and Mexicans in a burritos, bro. If you know me, you've been over here a while, you know I am not that. I will wear me a Mexican hat up in my vlogs, up in my reactions. No, I'm not Mexicans. I'm full black. Bro, my understand this. I am nowhere near. I just like to have fun. So live a little. Fucking Mexican. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. Just chill out, bro. I, it's too much. Look, look. I got to explain nothing to y'all, bro. Well, I do, because y'all be thinking I'll be serious, but then... But for real, though, imagine getting jumped by some white boys. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be up there like, damn. Like, can you go home later? Your injuries to the head and face. Following the attack, him. Major Robinson was charged with two counts... Bro smoked, though. I'm not lying, y'all. In the middle of his... Y'all know, uh... Well, y'all ain't as old as me, but they had a brand called Dada. Dada, D-A-D-A. That look like the crown in the middle of his forehead. Look closely, bro. Y'all not looking that close. What is this ghost talking about? You know how I see better when I smoke? But still, y'all can see that. That look like the crown. And he was crying before this picture. I'm telling you, look how long, look how stretched out his neck is. Look how I see. 
Y'all know how y'all be seeing females, it be a grip of them, they just be looking ratchet. You be like, bro, I smell it through the camera. And y'all know what I mean, we talking about the fish, bro, I smell it in the camera. Bro stink and I smell it through the screen. And enough. <laughs> Never mind, bro. Two counts of assault, two. Bro, assault and you two counts of willful injury. The charges actually led to complaints from other prosecutors. Prosecutors want tougher charges. Why, though? Why? It's just the fight at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel some type of way because you got fired on and it was on video. And if you the homie, I mean, I know lawyers and prosecutors don't call each other homies, but if you're my colleague, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? After all this is over, when we get in like the lunchroom, the break room, whatever, I'm like, bro, is your eye okay? Because the, the, he fired on you that video. I seen it. Look, I got it on my phone. Look, see right here where he took his right and socked you in the, You all right? Turn to the left a little bit. I, I'm just stupid, bro. I would have got a towel and some ice. <laughs> Put it by his eye. <laughs> like I said, I live life, bro. I just, I, I like the, the sheesh. Sheesh. Who feel they should be protected under similar laws as police officers and firefighters. Laws that elevate the severity of crimes such as assaults. Major Robinson ultimately pled guilty to the charges was sentenced to a year in jail. You got off easy, bro. Well, that was a tough year. Let's go inside the Jefferson County Court in Lexington, Kentucky for the competency hearing. If that's Lexington, why well, I say Louisville? And why am I, uh, your girl's still in here, huh? <laughs> your girl's still in here watching this video, bro. Y'all never seen a surprise me, I swear to God. Let me light my thing real quick, though. Y'all never seen a surprise me. Run right to the kitchen, I think. Hold on. <laughs> hey, your girl was stealing me here, huh? <laughs> Tell you how dumb I am, I left the lighter by the stove. Ain't that some stuff? Oh yeah. We good. We good. Hearing <clears throat> of murder suspect Jerry Lawson. Lawson has had numerous prior outbursts in court. Prosecutors believe what you're about to see is all an act to avoid a trial. Wow. Lawson's charged with murder, arson, tampering with physical evidence, and abuse of a corpse. <laughs> Police say he torched the home of Bernice Aniton. The 64-year-old woman was found dead and following an autopsy, Police announced her death was suspicious. Today at his pretrial hearing, Lawson waited mere seconds before exploding into a rage against his own. Yeah, bro is on something else. I already know what this is. All he gonna do is keep on yelling. I mean, yelling until they removed from the court building. That's all he gonna keep on doing. Hold on. Get to this one. We're at Bond Court in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, I got it right this time. Yeah, I, mean, I think a thousand is reasonable given that these are felony charges. Good luck, sir. Judge Smith has a full plate of bond hearings. Mm -hmm. I actually have a card. I'm... Bro, when you think you're going to jail, right, and you got to a court date, right? They say you got to be here at 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning, see the judge on Wooty Woo floor, whatever the case. And when you go to that room, 
and it's one of these rooms to where you just gotta talk to a bailiff or a judge behind a window, and you're not handcuffed, and they just you all you know you're going home. You all, you finna get a ticket and go home. Get a ticket and go home. Whoever flip out right here is stupid because nobody gets jail time at the window, bro. You don't get jail time at the. He's stupid. He's stupid. Trying to sell on Craigslist. Stop, stop, stop talking. I'm going to give you a public defender. Michael Wayne, right. cases 87 and 88. Next up is Michael Ray, who's facing four charges, okay, including bro. criminal trespassing and second degree assault. A bond or a bail hearing is usually a quick proceeding if the defendant is cooperative. Right. The prosecutor suggests a bail amount for Ray based on the crime in the defendant's history. The county's requesting $25,000 full cash fine, all charges. <laughs> you think that's yeah. funny? I think that's hilarious. We weren't done. I'm out of here. Ray might feel $25,000 is too high, but sarcasm won't get him a reduction, and the judge lets him know it. All right, so bond is $50,000. Yes, sir. No bail credit, I danger to community. Okay, okay. I thought that was in the front of the court building. I thought that was in the front of the court building. This is some corona type whatever. He already locked up, bro. He already locked up, and that's his court day while he's already in jail, which usually be like three or four days after you get arrested. Well, if you don't like it to go to jail on the weekend, you'd be having to wait till like Tuesday because the court be closed on Monday for some reason. I don't know why. Thinks these are funny charges. I was lucky I didn't hold him in contempt. Ray just had his bond doubled. But as he re-enters the hallway, he has something else to say. Hope I see him Whoa! Uh -oh, I'm putting, uh -oh, hold him in contempt. Whoa! That threat, bro. Adding charges. That threat washed you up. That threat Ray's language you up. isn't the only thing to upset the judge. According to court officials, the defendant also gave her the middle finger. 30 days to serve on contempt for flipping me off twice. Judge calls him back, but it looks like he's gone. If we bring him back in, he's just gonna get another 30 days for doing something else. So they move on to the next case. Case number 90, Scott Raymer. When sure enough, Ray comes back for more. Oh, here he oh, comes. Bro, bored. Bro, bored. Sir, I'm holding you in contempt for what you did. What's your holding me in? And so. You All right, you, you can take him back. Right. Hundred days to serve. Hundred days to serve. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So I was right the first time. This ain't no Corona, nothing, bro. Just got itself locked up. There's like a little different than it is on the West Coast. But what it was, I don't see how he was. How is she blinking like that? But what it was, he was, um, he got locked up. He not dressed up right now, because like I said, you got to see the judge within that three. But he's stupid. Dummy. Another one. Cali. Because of two EPOs and the criminal mission cutters? That's right. The judge just gave him 100 days in jail. He's done. He's or he done. could just walk away without making matters even worse. But he goes a different route. Y'all know I think we need to Yeah. Stop. Can we bring him back? He's oh my god. Yes. Bro, shut up. It started out as no four serious no charges has grown into a grand total of ten. On the span of approximately three minutes. Yeah. No, I figure that's just a lesson on what not to do, so you all are good. We're in the Miami-Dade bond court. Good afternoon. I'm this judge is so famous. This Pooh Shiesty judge. Judge Mindy Glazer, I'll be presiding yes, today over the are. bond the hearings. Years. Today, she'll see dozens of defendants. You were arrested for retail yeah. theft, and I'll appoint the public defender for you. We're still in clothes from Sears. One in particular is sure to stand out. Cool. The defendant is Sherry Lynn. Watch her, bro. She is dangerous. She's facing charges of felony battery and resisting. That's why they got that jacket on her, bro. She dangerous. I'm telling you. Arrest with violence. I'm telling you. Lynn appears remotely and is represented by a public defender. 
And from the very first question... Have you ever been treated for any mental health issues? Why you so first? Go ahead, don't you? It's clear <laughs> Lynn is in no mood to be in court. Look at that judge. She holding back her lie. I'm sorry, ma'am. I said, go yourself. Okay, well, I'm a little busy right now. Take another look. <laughs> I said, go judge Glazer initially finds the behavior amusing. But she's not about to let it continue. Ma'am, ma I'm just trying to help. Ma'am, he, he's trying to help you, and please don't use profanity or trying to disrupt my courtroom because I don't want to be forced to hold you in contempt of court. Or he's trying to, Mr. Snyder's trying to help you. Listen to her. And I'm ordering that you stay away from Cynthia Cuba. Do not have any contact with her, and you must stay away from her home and place of business. As to the other case, who is this <laughs> Cynthia Cuba? Tell me. Um, I thought the f you were allegedly to? trying to hit with the pliers. The other case, hey, f, 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 f Hey, right Bro, so, somebody get her some crack. For real, her head is about to explode. If you don't know a smoker when you see one, bro, don't be outside by yourself because she's going to come ask you for a dollar and you're going to give it to her and she's going to rob you without you knowing you're being robbed. I promise you, that is a croaker. There's a crack hair and a smoker, a croaker. That's what she is, bro. That... Like, why do people want to get higher than weed? I don't never get that. Like, you hit this, like, oh, this ain't high enough. Let me try this. Let me try that. Let me. Why, bro? You see what it do to your teeth? Yo, 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 home. Your kids live with your sister now. You know what I'm saying? That's what the drug she on do to her. She look like she like 60, huh? She's 23. <laughs> I <didn't> even lie. <laughs> She's 23, bro. She's just using that 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 stuff, bro. Five thousand dollars. Calm down. Hey. You lucky hey. charm. Uh, uh, what's, what's the four leaf clover? Let's try and get you into the hospital. Lynn's ordered to pay a fifty dollar fine and undergo a psychiatric evaluation. That's it. I want to start wilding in court. You know what I'm saying? I thought that you, 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 10 days maybe? Get y'all the next reaction though. DJ Ghost went on it.